Imagine this. You're Napoleon and you just won another battle. What are you going to do to celebrate? Play a game of chess? Throw a party? No, you're going to order the construction of the Arc de Triomphe. Located in Paris, France, the Arc de Triomphe was created to honor those who fought and died for France in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. The names of 128 battles of the First French Republic and Napoleon's Empire are written on the white walls under the vault. Each of the four pillars represent a part of France's history and war culture. The first pillar represents the departure of 1792. This celebrates the cause of the French First Republic during the August Uprising. Above the volunteers is a winged personification of liberty. The second pillar represents the triumph of 1810. This celebrates the Treaty of Chambon and features Napoleon being crowned by the Goddess of Victory. The third pillar represents the resistance of 1814. It commemorates the French resistance to the Allied armies during the War of the Sixth Coalition. The fourth pillar represents the Peace of 1815. It honors the Treaty of Paris concluded in that year. The six reliefs sculpted on the facades of the arch bring to life important moments of the French Revolution and Napoleonic era. And at the very top of the Arc de Triomphe, there are 30 shields that are each engraved with the names of major victories. It is really easy to see why this 162 feet tall arch took so long to complete. The Arc de Triomphe opened in 1836, 15 years after the death of Napoleon. Although he never got to pass through the completed arch alive, in 1840 his body passed through the arch when being moved to his final resting spot. During its 180 years, the Arc de Triomphe continues to serve as an iconic symbol to France. Here is where the body of Napoleon passed. Here pass the funeral processions of French poet Victor Hugo. The arch is where the military victories of 1918 were celebrated. And here, the defeat of the Nazis and the French liberation were celebrated at the end of the Second World War. The Arc de Triomphe is the last great testimony of the military power of France and has been a symbol of many important events in French history. There are several other arches around the world that resemble the Arc de Triomphe. In the United States, there is one arch in particular that holds similar values. Here's a couple hints. It's located in Manhattan, New York, and has even been called the Arc de Triomphe's little brother. You guessed it, it's the Washington Square Arch. The 73-foot-tall marble arch was dedicated in 1895. Before in its place stood a wooden arch that honored the anniversary of President George Washington's inauguration. The arch is located in Washington Square Park, which was first used as a Washington military parade ground in 1826. The site then became a public park for all to enjoy in 1827. There is no doubt that the Washington Square Arch was inspired by the Roman Triumphal Arches and the Arc de Triomphe in France. The American Arch is adorned with symbolic figures and classical design, similar to its inspirations. There are two huge bald eagle sculptures that appear if they are guarding the area from the north and south perches above their keystones. On the north side of the arch are two 16-foot-tall sculptures of Washington. The first Washington sculpture is of Washington as commander-in-chief, accompanied by fame and valor. Washington stands calm and composed. Fame stands behind him with a trumpet to announce herself and holds a palm branch for peace, and valor holds a sword. Lastly, the oak behind him stands for courage. The second sculpture is of Washington as president, accompanied by wisdom and justice. Washington stands as he is about to make a public address as he stands in front of the sculptures of relief and wisdom. Wisdom stands with a scroll against her chest and a handle of justice's axe. Justice holds the traditional scales and a book open to Washington's motto, Ixis Acta Foba, which translates, Judge me by the results of my actions. The Arc de Triomphe and Washington Arch are different on many different levels, but they both tell the story of their country's victories and the war heroes, Napoleon for France and George Washington for the United States. 
But most importantly, the arches bring people together at the end of the day to honor their great beauty and detail.